God that we would remain faithful. And that is a blessing for us in the end. It will be a reward. Job got double what he lost. Um, he proved that he could lose everything and, and still remain faithful. The test really would be if you can, if you can receive riches and remain faithful, re re receive good things and, you know, treasures on earth and remain faithful to Jesus. Uh, Jesus said that the rich man, you know, gets caught up in many, um, what is the word, many snares of the devil. So the rich man was in hell being tormented of the fire and wanted to someone to go tell his brothers not to go there. But God said to him through, um, I think Lazarus, if one were to die from the, or raise from the dead, you still wouldn't believe. And Jesus raised from the dead. And God was saying that you're tormented in that fire because you received good things in your life. But he just confirmed that it was be, because you didn't believe and you would have never believed, even if one were to raise from the dead, which is Jesus. So, the unbeliever and the son of perdition, which is um, Judas Iscariot, um, I don't believe he believed that he was the Christ because he was a worker of iniquity. He got wages for doing iniquity. And by getting wages for doing iniquity, serving Satan, um, he was deceived not to obey the gospel of Christ, that Jesus was the Christ, the son of God, uh, promised in Isaiah that the son would be given and instead went against the, the Christ, the light from heaven. Um, and many who go fight against the Christ, their, their damnation is going to be worse. And uh, they will receive their, their wages of iniquity and eternal torment in the lake of fire and brimstone and condemnation forever and ever. Um, these are the... Um, men of renown uh, who do not repent because God gives them a chance to repent because he is merciful and his mercy is un unfailing in mercy, the Psalms say. So um, it is very clear what the Psalms of David say. God is unfailing in mercy. So if you die without believing, you have denied the spirit of Christ. Um, and in fact, there are some who have taken the mark of the beast to buy and sell in this world and their hearts are so cold that they're fighting against God. Yes. Um, there are some that have not bowed to Satan. I believe within those people that have not, um, they may be rich in the world, but they have not bowed to Satan yet. Um, and so those can be saved. And those are the ones that we're going after the re the remnant and some of them are in high places. Uh, we're praying for the kings of the earth and the, um, the nations. We're praying for every man, woman, and child. We're praying for all creatures. that they, they Because whenever mankind is in order, then all the creatures will be in order. Um, and, and that is under the sun. So he is subduing and taking dominion over all things right now. Jesus is. So praise his name. And, and they said, Hosanna to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. So the people during Jesus' time that believed that were Israelite, Jews, um, there were uh, Romans and Greeks and Arabs and all sorts of different kinds of people who believed in different languages, in different tribes, languages, and tongues, meaning they're from all over. And many of them believed. And they were saying what they needed to say for Jesus to come to them, that kingdom to come into them. And so it, it, Jesus in Matthew 23 says, you know, I won't, you won't see me till you say, blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. And that's what they said in Ma Matthew 21, uh, 9. They, they said, blessed is, is he who cometh in the name of the Lord. So they knew he was the Christ, the Messiah. Praise his name today. Um, his name is Jesus, the word of God. He is Emmanuel, God with us. He's the one on David's throne. And we give him all the praise, honor, and glory because this is God's word 
he is worthy of all praise and the father is glorified through the son agape love to you beloved